When it comes to design, branding, and storytelling, I think we know a thing or two. Or three. Oh, wait, Courtney's not here. Oh, mm -hmm. this week on season 16 of Drag Race, the queens had to get into quick drag and flamenco dance with some Spanish men and Charo. And Rue tasked them with designing their own original looks for themselves and the doll. The doll. You can't read the doll. The doll. You can't read the doll. That's right. It's not every day a queen gets to create a doll out of their very own drag character and present it on the main stage. And with T.S. Madison and La Roche in the house, even better. Willem, um, would you make a whore doll? Um, sister, I might ask you, Alaska, how would you make a cunt doll? Honey, like this, only time will tell. Mm, at the end of the day, the dolls, the are, dolls the doll. are the dolls. The dolls are the dolls. Are you ready for an all new recap of Drag Race right here on Race Chaser? Let's go! Oh. M. Oh. M. Mom! Race Chaser. Hello. 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 And welcome back to Race, Race Chaser, Chaser Au Courant. <gasps> a podcast dedicated to the discussion, dissection, and dissemination of every single episode of RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag, Drag Race. Race. Starting from the very beginning. This is the beginning. Oh my gosh, she did warm ups today. Mm -hmm. My name is Alaska. What's yours? My name is Willem. Uh, your, uh, do not adjust your television set. Your eyes are not deceiving you. We are mm -hmm. back again with another video episode for you this week. Yeah, it's a reminder. The full episode can be viewed on Mom Plus Gold behind that little paywall. But as always, we are happy to give you all on YouTube a little taste, a little preview. Just a little taste. Mm -hmm. Just a touch of love. Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> We are always in drag for the podcast anyway, yeah. so we figured turn the camera on. Yeah, just turn it on. We're doing it, and why not? Yeah, POV, gonzo. POV, <laughs> gonzo? <laughs> Never mind. This is a gonzo episode. <laughs> Last week, the girls had some points of view. Oh, on Drag Race? Yeah, RuPaul was there. Now, is it Drag Race America or Drag Race UK versus the world? Because they happen at the same time at the same night, don't they? Shade. Yes, they do. <laughs> who's who's in charge of the programming? I'm pretty sure um, they probably just have Maddie doing it. That's like <laughs> putting Friends and Seinfeld at the ta same time slot on the same channel. Yeah, it's a big. It feels what? like a conflict of interest. Well, it's a it's a huge slap in the dick to the internationals. I think very much so because like having another having the American season on at the same time as your season means you're going to be playing second fiddle at the World of Wonder to whoever is on the American franchise because no matter what the American girls are going to get the attention the press the everything it's just a weird it's just a weird choice it is it doesn't it feels like they're not giving the girls their moment they're like oh we'll just put two on at the same time this is your moment have it yeah I don't know. I'm waiting for uh, Drag Race Kazakhstan. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, last week the girls did some quick drag and they were shot by legendary fashion photographer Laith Ashley. Uh, Safira won the mini challenge in some cash. I mean, you think Videla, you think Magnus Hastings, Laith Ashley, mm. when you think of major drag photographers. Period. I'd let him take some pictures of me. Greg Gorman. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary Ellen Mark. Who's the one who did the supermodels in the supermodel special? Uh, What's that guy? Mizell. Mizell. Hastings. Videla. Ashley. Mm -hmm. It's a late Ashley. Mm. Anyway. Well, Safira won the mini Sorry. challenge. $500 uh, was the cost of RuPaul's book because she got $2,000. <laughs> Market value. Yeah. Blue book. Mm -hmm. The queen split into three groups to write original verses and choreograph performances on the main stage of some of Ru's hot tracks. And after a pussycat wig runway, RuPaul deemed the team thick and stick the winners. Geneva, Maya, Megami, Nymphia, and then Miss Amanda Tory meeting and Q landed in the bottom and had to lip sync for their lives. Sadly, it was Amanda's last day, and she left the competition with a quip and a smile. 
She did. Uh, her lipstick message reads, you all are fugly skanks, and I hate every last one of you bitches. <laughs> Most of all, Q. L-M-A-O, but actually I-L-Y. Have fun cleaning this mirror, you bitch. You better fucking win so I can at least say the winner sent me to the house. Someone says, she won't, but... <laughs> <laughs> Q so vows me. not to be in the bottom again. Shade in reading. It was not her fantasy, she said. She did not like being a bottom girl. It didn't correspond to her fantasy. Mm -mm. No. And um, Dawn is, she says, oh, very happy that Thick and Stick each have a quarter of a win now. Oh. And Geneva goes right back. Well, it's more than you, Dawn. It's a group win. They each are considered a winner. That's how it works. Okay. So they each have one win under the belt. Yeah, I'm happy for them. It's Because some girls come and they don't even get to win once. Yeah. Can you imagine? Mm. Did you do that? Oh no, you won. Hate it, bitch. <laughs> she won a lot. I'm the only girl to win and get sent home in the same episode. You are the only one. In the Hell, I'm the only one <laughs> who wins and gets sent home that same night. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, no, I won. <laughs> I know you did. I oh. know you did. The boat, the, the double duo singing challenge. All those minis. So many, so very many minis. I mean. Did you win a mini challenge while wearing a mini skirt? Now that's the question. Mini, mini, in I'll a mean, Double mini in a mini. <laughs> mini in a mini. Mini in a mini. Yes. Mini in a mini. Yes. Mini in a mini and a main. <laughs> because my boat, the, the, my little mini challenge wet t-shirt contest had a little frill on it. On the panty. A little fr frill. It twirled up. It twirled up. It twirled up. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to need you to take accountability before you speak about my wins. <laughs> the girl. <laughs> Sensitive. Hot topic. I don't get to win everything like some girls. Crowns, gowns, <laughs> garbage bags, boas. This is couture, honey. Mama, this is garbage. Mama. <laughs> and this is returns. <laughs> the girls rehash Untucked because there might be some people out there who don't watch Untucked. So there was some good juicy tidbits in Untucked. So they bring it up at this point in the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Tsunami's still plucked that you A know annoyed, yeah. the girls were supposed to say Tell us a name who you think should go home. And Q said, well, her. Oh, and her. And <laughs> Tsunami is, too. yeah, she's just, she's allowed to feel how she wants to feel. And she yeah. states that. And she's right. I, um, I don't think that giving more than is necessary on that question on is that ever day, a good idea. No. Like, are you trying to, are you trying to wreck the, the fragile sisterhood that, just burgeoning. She was just trying to be honest. I don't need honesty. Too much honesty. I get that in the mirror, baby. Too much honesty. <laughs> Too much. Uh, Megami asks, Plain, who are you going to pick on now that Amanda's gone? Everyone on the internet. Apparently. Uh, who's she going after now? Girl, all of us. She hates us. Us? Everybody. All the other girls. She thinks it's... Now why am I in it? She thinks it's stupid when other girls talk about new girls and their talents and like... All that. I guess we're reductive to her. Well, I guess we won't offer her a podcast on our network. <laughs> offer rescinded, play. <laughs> we're Cinderella. Uh, it could be called uh, Clear the Jet Bridge <laughs> with <laughs> Plain J. <laughs> well, Plain says Safira offered Landing hers. gear with Plain J. <laughs> um, Overhead compartment with uh, Plain Jane. Fully upright and locked position with plain Jane. No, you can't use the closet with plain Jane. <laughs> uh, plain says, Safira offered her some advice um, about all the times that she... Safira says something like, I've noticed a trend of you misspeaking frequently. Oh, yeah. And it just happens because plain opens her mouth and she doesn't think first, I guess, about how other people will take it. Or maybe she does and she knows what she... I think she's leaning into the villain. Because she knows she'll stick around for the whole season if she just is a bitch to everybody. Yeah, and maybe, and also sociopath a little, I think. Yeah, maybe. Um, but just a little. She says she's ready to turn over a new leaf. I think she needs a whole fucking arborarium a whole tree. Yeah, <laughs> girl. Uproot it, girl. Yeah. Hook the truck up and pull the root out. Pull mm -hmm. the trunk out. Or wait, or the stump. Is that what you do? 
It's been a After while. a long night of hooking. I was, I was, I was <laughs> down on the farm. The next day, walking into the workroom, uh, everyone goes around and says, who's pumped? <laughs> she puts up one pinky. <laughs> Slowly. Plot. Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> all the girls have lips now. All of them. Just a, just tasteful lips. They didn't go and get them way overdone. You know, like some of these girls. Some of these girls. Some of these all stars girls go way overboard. And it's some. And all the girls this year remember their uh, needle instances too. There's no Kamora Blackman. <laughs> Kimura blackouts. Yeah. I just <laughs> I don't, don't remember. I think I had them done once. I think but I like, had a BBL revision. I think I had my buccal fat, or maybe it was just a plumping lip gloss <laughs> I put on. I forgot. <laughs> These girls, so many of them have the have a little bit of enhancement. I guess it's for the main season now. Yeah, I think that uh, if, if, you, if you can afford it, do it. I think it makes putting makeup easier. It makes it so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Because no one, no one ever, there's no makeup tips out there for underlining your lips for a reason. Everybody wants bigger. <laughs> you no? Know? Should we do a makeup tutorial no. about underline the lips? Underline lips. You want to get that small, <laughs> thin, pin-lipped look. Yeah. That's really Mad. popular. <laughs> and then only lower lashes. No top Only lip. lower. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and hey, then our brows lower than our normal brows. Cover them and draw them even yes, lower. Yes, under. Yes, yeah, still glue stick. Ooh. But put, play, put the placement lower. Uh, oh, I love this. Let's do it. Booger down, clown town, fully. We're doing it. Hey, but, Dolly. Hi. Ain't nobody got time for brats. So keep your rainbow bright, and you could be living in a Malibu dream house. <laughs> what could it be about? I don't know. It sounds okay. doll based. It's just so well, this is a doll-based podcast. It definitely is. A doll-based network, honestly. Uh, RuPaul comes into the room, and she has her good friend Charo with her. She, Charo says, I'm so happy to be here. Every time I hear your name, I get bumps all over my goose. Yes, she does. <laughs> As do I. Mm -hmm. uh, the mini challenge is a Spanish fly girl flamenco dance contest. This is giving season five to me. Did y'all do this? We had a Latina Lovely themed runway challenge. Runway theme. Latina Lovely. Yeah. Oh. What, yeah, what did you also did a different tele time. telenovela acting challenge? Yeah. Different time. But is this, I mean, I guess flamenco is not like an ethnicity. It's like a style of dance. It's it, it's it, so they're just emulating the dance. Cost, the costumery of the dance. Yeah, like Courtney, but, Courtney did it on Dancing with the Stars. Well, if Courtney did it. <laughs> if Courtney, if Courtney did it, it's okay. You know what Courtney should have done? Tiago. Oh. Ooh, Tiago is a singer, actor, everything. And um, his, oh, look, I guess he didn't want to raise his hand when we were talking about being pumped. <laughs> Are you talking about the other dancer? Yes. Alfredo? You think she's been girl? <laughs> Those highlights, that glossy lip. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, I've seen tires with less pump. Okay. Well, you know what? These girls are ready to dance with these two gentlemen. Yes, they have a half an hour to get into quick flamenco Spanish fly drag. <laughs> and, um,. Some of them. Oh, it's brought to you by the Tourism Board of Spain. Yeah. Is that where the new Fire Island is? They're, I think they're going to try to make it somewhere over there in the Mediterranean. Shout out to my drag daughter, Ty. She's a Barcelona girl. Gentrification should be working for us. Don't you think? <laughs> it only costs $5 million per person. But how are we going to... Fire Island. How are we going to get the ticks over there? I know. And the meat rack. Bring the, bring the deer over on yeah. a plane. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> deer heart. Uh, so Geneva wore her good black lace-up fucking... She's I worn this shoe seven fucking times. Uh, this shoe needs to be in the drag museum. It's the hardest working shoe in drag race. Oh, girl. This shoe needs to be next to Jocelyn's necklace and Courtney's earrings. Absolutely. Yeah, it is... Who stood out to you during this? I thought Plain Jane really stood out because she looked a fucking mess. 
Oh, and Morphine said, baby, I'm not wearing those ugly clothes on that rack. Mm -hmm. Mama. No, 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 I'm not, no, no. I'm not wearing the clothes provided. She said, Nymphia, eat your fucking banana bait hard out. She said, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to wear it on the runway because mm -hmm. Nymphia is going to be yellow queen. Yeah. So I might as well use it here. I, she looked sensational. I thought Tsunami was the best. I thought Plain was the worst just because her gags didn't really land with her reveals with the fans and the mustache. And like, I get it. It, it was just too much of everything. And like, you're supposed to be ugly. But like most of y'all are already ugly because it's quick drag. And it just wasn't effective for me, you know? Well, sometimes being funny in a mini challenge works, but now they give you money. So it's like you kind of have an impetus to actually try to win. I think everybody's trying to win. In no the olden what. days, though, mini challenges were worth nothing and you'd actually get disadvantaged if you won. So that's why I was always trying to do bad in mini challenges. See, that's something that you think. Manila taught me that. Manila also lied about her age. She's a liar mouth. So what do you what? I think mini challenges are good to win. Any chance to be on TV is a, a, because you get to pick teams. But to, doing something outrageous and funny can give you camera time as well. Yeah, but I'm not saying that's what Plain Jane did. I agree. I agree with you. You're totally right. Who stood out to you? Um, I love Zunami's hair. This little like uh, she looks so cute. And the pussy cat wig with the Louboutin. Yeah, she just looks like she had like a uh, a rum punch on the beach and now she's just found yeah. a paramour and she'll dance the night away. She's getting her groove back. She really is. Yeah. Um, on this girl's trip. Plasma almost falls because she has to realize that she is taller than the man trying to dip her. She thought she was the petite <laughs> little girl. <laughs> she gave that man a hernia with that. He was like, oh! <laughs> Oh. He's injured. He's a dancer. His body is his work plasmoid. Girl. Uh, Q has castanets, which um, make noise. Tsunami won the mini challenge and a trip to she Spain, did. courtesy the Tourism Board of Spain. To the new Fire Island. <laughs> Guests of Race Chaser Hot Goss stay at the new Fire Island Resort. We're going to take a break. Okay. Oh, if they did Tony Guitar. guitar. We That's why Zunami wore that wig. <laughs> she wore that Tony wig. I love it. <laughs> Spanish guitar. So this maxi challenge is a fun one. Mm -hmm. The queens get to create their own. <clears throat> the queens get to create their own doll based on a drag persona. Starting from scratch, they need to create two identical looks. One for themselves and one for their doll. And this is a design, branding, and storytelling challenge. Mm -hmm. and this is, is something that, you've done really well at. Yeah, is you it storytelling. Yeah, because you tell a story on the runway. You you write a voiceover. The girls are telling stories on the runway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, Nymphia collects brat dolls and customizes them, so she isn't worried. She doesn't worry about anything. For this week's <laughs> challenge, you'll be going to space. Livia's like, I don't know if I could do this. Then the confessional, she's like, I lived on the International Space Station for 17 years. <laughs> you heard of Mur? That was Mur. 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 Uh, there are some fabrics that are being offered to the girls, and they all run at them. And Nymphia gets all the yellow. She was like, Obviously, she's like not even fucking around. Mm -mm. No one, that's hers. Yeah. Plain wanted the red, but Geneva got it. And then Geneva also got this ugly overlay of like a, a navy blue sequin on a sheer. Sure. And then she was trying to put it over the red and it looked awful, but she still no wouldn't good. give it to Jane. <laughs> Smart. Smart woman. And then the blue velvet. She wore Ooh. blue. That's what this whole episode is about. <laughs> the blue fucking velvet Girl. will not go away. No, and I don't I I don't get why so many girls would go for the same thing. I think there was just a lot of it. Now, who was smart was fucking Q because Q said nobody's taking these like 
kind of earth tones. I'm going to grab these right now. Yeah. Smart. You know, she's like one of the girls that scoops up all the copper. Copper. Mm -hmm. Copper queen. Um, <laughs> Plasma explains her whole design idea to Nymphia. And Nymphia <sighs> nods. And then they cut to her in the interview saying... That's a no taste express or something like that. Oh my god! Yeah, something rude. That's very harsh. Yeah, I like the idea. I like the idea, the execution. Um, I just thought it was a little stayed. Stayed. <laughs> yeah. What does stayed mean? You, know, you look up the I'm like Merriam Webster's definition. Seventy percent clear on the definition of <laughs> I it. I believe you. I just want to know. <laughs> Because <laughs> state. Does it be like serious? S T A I D. Oh. Stayed. Of a settled, settled sedate, sedate, or, or steady, steady character. character. So kind of stayed. stayed. <laughs> she's our stayed sister. Because she's always, it's like always like, oh, okay. Yeah. Kind of subdued. Except she got wings on some headphones. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you? Would you have worn it? So, actually, yes. If I was doing like a sort of period kind of period period, if I was doing like a period period uh, period uh, period uh, period, uh. <laughs> like a period fifties moment. Absolutely. I thought it was clean. We'll get to it when we get to the runway. Mm -hmm. Safira is helping Maya make this cat suit. And Safira is like, I love to help, but I am i don't have time to make my shit. Her opera coat. Because she sings she opera. She wants to make an opera coat. Isn't every coat that she pictured. wears an opera coat? Well, yeah, if she sings opera in it. There you go. Sure. Plain hates the fabric she ended up with. So she attempts. I hate, hate, hate your hair and makeup tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Nikki. Um, <laughs> it. She goes over to Geneva, try to get the red, doesn't work. She goes over to Plasma. And then finally, Plasma is just like, sure, take a yard. Well, Plasma wasn't even paying attention, and Plain just stole the. Plain stole told the her, listen, you have this whole bolt of this here, so I'm just going to cut off a yard. And it was more than a yard. She would be really good at I used to work in phone canvassing for clean water action. And Producing? they told us to be yes, they told us to be very like aggressive and very like not taking no for an answer. I was never good at that, but plain would be really good at it. Hi, so you have this fabric, so I'm just going to take some. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, plasma's like, no, I love my baby. I get my lovely evening time. Me and my baby. Fabric like that there. <laughs> Fully. That she is that girl. I'm also loving it. Safira um is, well, we talked about her. Nymphia is taking a nap on the floor. Walking around, oh, oh Yara Sophieing. She knows what's up. But Everybody now does. the girls are on to her, and mm -hmm. they're like, "We don't even see that. We know that you know what you're doing. Shut the fuck up." Morphine says, "How am I going to do this without showing my ass? That's all I know." And then Plain says, "What you should be worried about is covering that stomach." She said that. Yeah, and we've all like talked about how we want her to be really cinched a little more. They talk about it on Tudor Boot. They've talked about it on a few of the programs. And I... <laughs> this frozen <laughs> image. Jesus Christ. It looks like Dusty Ray Bottoms. Who the fuck is that? That's Safira's, Safira's doll. doll. It looks like fucking Jesse from Jesse and James and Pokemon, the cartoon. That's who it's giving. I love that earring. Well, Jane did the We thing. are Team Rocket! Team Rocket, take flight at the speed of light! I don't remember how it goes. Anyway. Plane did the thing where she was like, oh, well, what? No, never mind. And everyone was like, no, say what you're going to say. And she was like, what you should be worried about is covering your stomach. Well, she, she had the new leaf, and then she went, nah, this <laughs> side. Mm, yeah, I'll stay on this side. Fun shade, fun That's shade. So I think she's not very nice. <laughs> I'm sorry to question. Uh, Megami asked Plasma if she thinks her dress needs a purple belt, and Plasma said, "Is that shade?" Megami says, "You know what? It's your vision." No. 
Uh, Geneva's realizing that that fabric overlay does not work, but she still mm. is not giving plain that fucking red fabric. You like how she look in the aqua blue? Get your... Something for Rue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, <laughs> Dawn is feeling very confident in her design work. And uh, the mirror chats happen. Maya just wants to be safe this week. And um, based on their struggle bus that they showed her on earlier, I'm not sure that that's going to happen. Uh, Geneva's doll is the Texas, Texas edition where everything's bigger, but she's the daintiest doll. And Maya's like, why didn't you just style a doll with leg hair like what you're known for on TikTok, which would have been a great idea. But I think since it's a Texas edition, she should just build a wall around it. Because it's the only way it's going to look good. Oh, my God. That dress is ugly. Why would she put that giant collar on it and then, like, clutter up her shoulder like this with all that trash? <laughs> What's this, you little bitch? Uh, yeah, my, or, uh, Geneva's like, oh, yeah, I should have done that leg hair. That would have been funny, huh? Anyway. There's still time. Why didn't she do it? And you don't have to wear pantyhose, so. Girl. Girl. I'm not even wearing pantyhose. Oh. Um, the girls all talk about their childhood experiences with dolls. Do you have childhood experiences with dolls? Yeah. I'm sitting across from a doll right now. Oh, I said childhood, Whoa, not exactly. midlife. I'm a child. Oh, <laughs> my drag is childlike. <laughs> <laughs> Infantile. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, I would have to sneak my sister's dolls. Oh, now I wasn't I, allowed. I wasn't allowed dolls because me and my sister would um, maim them. And melt their legs together and then leave signs in their hands in the garden and be like, tomatoes, <laughs> grapes. And my mom was like, those aren't fucking tomatoes and you're ruining all the dolls. And I would always believe their hair would grow back and it never did when I cut it. But like, I would fuck up those dolls. I had the gem one with the, oh. the lighty up earrings. Old habits die. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> You would never fuse your legs together. So no, that no, would never no, no, happen. no, 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 uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Who the fuck is that? That's plasma cross dressing with a child on the left. She looks orange. <laughs> that's, that's a pumpkin. Looks like me on a uh, hot gods last week, <laughs> according to all the comments. What? Everybody's like, oh, she doesn't match. Terrible. Because I was going to wear a different top, so I only had this painted. So I was suffering from a severe case of no matchy, which the only known cure is a mirror and caring about it. Today's great. Well, I'm so glad there are such amazing makeup consultants all over the internet. Me too. I'm sure they're all people who do makeup all the time and are professionally known for their makeup abilities. So I'm glad they're giving you advice. You're right. Yeah. Uh, what happens now? Well, Jane, Plain reveals a little something that gives us insight into maybe why she's a cunt. Because she's awake? <laughs> yeah, what does she say? She says that she was raised in a immigrant Russian Jewish household. And one time she had dolls and her dad replaced them with fire trucks and there was sort of like a no nonsense zero tolerance policy for faggotry in the home yeah and so she believes that her parents don't value drag and she thinks that's why she is so critical of everyone when they are in drag yeah that makes sense um sure Oh my god, I, I really felt for Q in this moment. She was like, I mean, I just, it's so girl. That's so girl. She said she sat in the in the theater so people wouldn't would see that she wasn't eating mm -hmm. uh, at lunch and she would learn her lines for her plays and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but Q's mom is a huge supporter of her drag. She's excited she got to be on Drag Race, which shows that um, Q obviously broke her NDA. <laughs> you told someone. 
We don't do that. We don't do that. But in, this, in our kingdom, in our sisterhood, we don't do that. Mm. I don't tell any of the designers. I don't tell my best friends. I don't tell my family so they know where I am for, you know, three months. Mm -hmm. You don't do that, girls. Yeah, unless you're Jane and then you're in the blisterhood, not the sisterhood, because she rubs everybody the wrong way. <laughs> Why don't we take a break? Let's turn over a new leaf and take a break. <laughs> 